This is a master clock made by the Time Telegraph Company of New York. Uh, this unique and very early electromechanical movement was made by the Time Telegraph Company. The pendulum is self-propelled. There is no escapement and no mechanical connection to the pendulum. The suspension spring has lever arms on each side. The pendulum is propelled by alternating the pressure on the lever arms from side to side. This is an image of the suspension spring. The lever arms are attached to the flexible part of the suspension spring. The impulse arms are attached to the immovable insulated blocks. As the movement operates, it's easier to appreciate the alternating movement of the armature as the contacts open and close. The two sets of electromagnets alternately lift a push rod to elevate the impulse springs. In this image, the arrow on the left shows the contacts on the lever arm and impulse spring closing. This will lift the armature on the right. The arrow on the right points to the push rod that will be elevated and the impulse spring will be lifted. As the impulse spring drops, the pendulum is propelled. An anchor is connected to the armature and is moved from side to side driving the time train. There is no escapement and no mainspring. From this perspective, it's easier to see the push rods elevating the impulse springs, which then put pressure on the lever arms, propelling the pendulum. This is a unique movement, but one that was superseded by more practical electromechanical movements. <laughs>